And a warm welcome back, Flight Sim and other stuff. A very quick video this time. It is the X Touch Mini inside the Phoenix. All the files required for this are on flightsim.to, and as usual, I will put links in the show notes below. Uh, I'm not going to show you how this was set up. We're currently doing a series on the channel which shows you how to install the X Touch templates, etc., etc. But for now, this is just a demonstration of the Phoenix. So let's jump down to the simulator straight away. And with this version, uh, you'll notice that we now have a front page. And from here, we can access different layers showing different things. I'm currently sitting in the Phoenix, cold and dark, at Heathrow Airport. So just quickly go through some of the pages. As we're cold and dark, let's go straight to the overhead panel. And external power is available, which is why the light's on. So we'll do external power. Battery one and two. Fuel pumps and might as well put the, let's see if I can get the overhead in. There we go. Fuel pumps now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move this to one side so you can see the IRS. Whoops, there we go. Uh, we need a bit more light, so we'll go back to the main page, go to lights, and we'll turn on the dome light. Uh, turn it on again so it's bright. Uh, turn the no smoking lights on and the seatbelt sign lights on. All of these rotaries work. So autopilot display, main display, and you can see the levels there. <coughs> Back. Let's go to the overhead again. And now we'll turn the APU on, so APU master. APU start. And while that's spinning up, let's turn the IRS on. One, two. And you'll notice the lights here, the LEDs on the ring showing you the position of the switch. So we can go back to back and let's go down to the pedestal now. And if I go down to the pedestal there, zoom in to the transponder. We've got the transponder buttons here. We've got the mode button here. Uh, let's move the flaps out the way so you can see. So as you change the mode, you see the switch turning there. That's the mode, and then we can go from circuit 1 to circuit 2, and turn off and on, and for the threat, the various ones are all working there. And the numbers, as I said, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and they're all there. We can start the engine, so if I put the engine into start... And then we can start the engines with the two buttons there. Back. Flight control computer. So again, if I turn any of these, the Barrow reference on the left hand side, the pilot's barometer, you can set that. Uh, if I do a short push, It'll put it to standard, and if I do a long push on that one, um, HPA into inches with a long push and a short push, and back puts you into standard. Uh, the rows on the next one along, ND display, as you can see, the light follows me around, shows the position of the button. Same goes for the range, and then for the speed, 
and a short push on the speed one will put you into manage mode that's pushing and a long press on the speed it'll be the same as going into selected mode where you're pulling same goes for altitude alt heading altitude vertical speed and the co-pilots because these have to be in sync we've also got the flight director etc all of the buttons there are mapped autopilots and we can go constraints waypoints VOR NDBs airports the scale button down here uh, should change he says hopefully yep it's going from hundreds to thousands on the altimeter so press that that's it hope you enjoyed it enjoy your flying as usual and hope to see you on the tutorials and we'll be back with the q a as usual sunday evenings thanks for watching bye